Okay, so you've recorded a really cool part and you want to have some of the effects change automatically, maybe halfway through or constantly throughout the entire song. What you can do is add something called an envelope and then you can automate that to change the effect the way that you want rather than you having to go back and adjusting the effect each time. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, if you go into Reaper and highlight the track you want to work on, that you want to change the effect on, and then hit V. That's going to bring up an envelope, but it's going to be initially just set to the volume effect. So you can change your volume up and down, that's fine. Um, what you can do though, is if you then right click on that envelope and go to effects parameters, you can see you can also adjust the pan and, and all of that, but we want to change the effects parameters. So I've got this synth part here and I want to change the square mix on it. So let's hear how the synth part sounds first of all. Familiar tune for some of you, I'm sure. Now, if I drag this bar up and down, you can hear the square mix changing. So I can set it to be one value for the entirety of the song. That's cool. What I can also do though, is if I hold shift, you'll see the cursor changes and I can click and add a dot on the line there. I'll do another one later on and one at the end. And what I can do then is drag these dots, these markers up and down as I want. Maybe I'll add another one in and I'll drag that one down. So I've started at my the start value that I'd had set then it's going to go up and then down and then return to that original first value again. So let's hear how that sounds now. We went up and down and then returned back as we was. Another thing you can do to help uh, save trying to color in all these points, if you want that same effect to happen later on in the song, you can drag a box over, right click, drag a box over the points you want to copy, then click Control C. And then later on in the song, I want to do that same thing, Control V. And there, now I've got the same thing repeated over twice. Uh, I can do that obviously infinitely as many as I want and I can tweak each individual one. So I can drag because I've got those all grouped together now, I can drag the entire thing up and down, or I can click away and just drag one. So each time that effect happens, I can have it be different, or I can have it be exactly the same each time. So that's pretty cool. So obviously that has tons of uses. Immediately you'd think of obviously dance music and whatever, but in even in rock music or metal or whatever you want, say uh, you're doing a solo on your guitar and halfway through the solo you click on your wah pedal, maybe all of your EQ needs redoing from that point on. So rather than have the guitar solo chopped in half and having to EQ both of those channels, you can just have the automated EQ pop in at that point, maybe you want to boost the mid or something like that and have it click off again just at the end. So if that was the case and you did want the effect to just come on and then off again, Rather than having it slope up like this, you can literally just drag the dots rather than being near each other. You can literally put it above and that's going to be the effect just going from one value straight to the next without the slope up. Have it maybe go across for a little while and then straight off again. So this would be your mid boost, say, in your EQ. You could pick out that range that you wanted to jump up to. Here, obviously, the synth is just going to go from the lower value to the high one for the saw. That's pretty obnoxious. Cool. There you go. Hopefully you found that video interesting and useful. If you did, then do please consider subscribing and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.